Hello everybody, this is Cap here with the ninth video in my batch file tutorial series. So in this video we're just going to go over a few ways that we can customize the command prompt or the prompt of our batch file to kind of, you know, make it a little bit flashier. Uh, so the first thing we're going to cover is how to change the actual size of the prompt. And you can do that using the mode command. So it's really, really easy. You just type in mode, followed by the width and the height that you want it to be. So we could say you know, 500 by 500, save it, run it, and it'll be huge. You guys can't see how big it is, but it almost takes up my entire screen. So that's kind of a cool thing. And this doesn't lock it in to that size. You can change the size throughout the batch file which is really nice and we will definitely be incorporating that into our big project that's coming up probably in the next video so the next thing I'm going to cover is how to change the colors of it Now you can change both the background and the foreground colors so the background and the text you can change both those and you change them using hexadecimal numbers numbers between 0 and F and you do it by typing in the color keyword followed by the two hexadecimal numbers one for the background one for the foreground and you can look at all the colors that you can choose from if you open your regular command prompt and type in color followed by a space a forward slash and a question mark and it will bring up all of these color options here so let's say we want our background to be blue and our foreground to be red. We would put in one four because one is blue and four is red. And we would save it and run it. So now we have a blue background and a red foreground. And that also isn't locked in. It can change throughout your uh, batch file. So if you want one part of your program to have a window a certain size and a background and a foreground a certain color, you can do that. You know, so it kind of makes it more recognizable for people if they can see, you know, the di change in color. Maybe not the change in size. That might throw people off. But the change in color is definitely a good indicator that they have entered a different section of your batch file. So that pretty much covers this tutorial, guys. If you like this video, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you've watched a few of these videos and really like them, go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up to date on when we post new ones. If you have any questions, you can also come over to Twitter and find us at WeAreCodeClism. And I would like to thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.